right, gentlemen. We're going to start talking about this chart here. It's going to be 12 formula. Six here and six there. And as you can see, this is concerning the Ohm's law. I put numbers here on the side, like 2, 4, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. This is Ohm's law. E divided by I is R, and E divided by R is I. I times R is E. I hope you understand this format that I want to talk about, okay? Here we go. Let's start adding it in up here, like E divided by I. It goes in here at R. So R goes here, 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 in the third quadrant here. Okay, so let's take that and put it there, okay? E divided by I is I. R. And that goes here. Okay. There. Okay. There you go. Now, as you can see, we're going to start doing this for all of them and we're going to create more. The power one here and two other more. From these two, we're going to create two more. And we're going to add up all this. There we go. Let me start here. Hmm. E divided by R is also I. So in I, we're going to put that in there, okay? There you go. E divided by R is I. We'll put it right there. Cool. Takes a little time sometimes to do this, but you know, let's be patient. <laughs> okay, next. We have I times R, which is 2 times 4 is 8. So that is equal to the, the voltage. Okay, voltage is on the third quadrant. So we're going to put here the I times R. I times R goes right there. And you see, as you can see, that everything is filling in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, no, three formulas already done. Now, let's go to the next one. Hmm. This one you should know by heart. Ohm's law. But then there's another one. The other one is the power. Remember the word pi? P equals IE. Remember that? Let's set that up. P equals I times E. Bang! We got another one. We got another one right here, the second one. So that's P divided by I equals to E. So let's find that one. P divided by I is E. So we can put it here. P divided by I. Put it right there. That should work out fine. There you go. That's another one. And P divided by E is I. So we could put that one right here. P divided by I is E, and P divided by E is I. Now, we also got I times E. I times E, it's power. So that goes right there. And you'll see it right there. All right, that's cool. Next, we got six of them already because we finished two of them. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Now we'll go for the next one. Well, a lot of people don't know how to come up with the next one. But as you can see, I also made this circuit here so to coincide with the Ohm's law here, E on top, R to the right, and I to the left, which is amperes. We got two amps. Eight volts divided by two equals four ohms, and eight divided by four ohms equals two amps. See, so it kind of like, like matches in there, okay? According to this. There's something as a reference, the circuit. Okay, we continue. Now let's create these other two. First we do this one here. So let's, if you notice that I is equal 
to e divided by r, right? And there's another i here. So i is equal to e divided by r and p divided by e. So let's take those two formulas and say that i is equal to e divided by r and p divided by e. So let's get those two formulas and put them on the side there. There you go. And let's work with this, okay? This is telling us that e divided by r equals to p divided by e. Oh, cool. From these two, we could probably come up with something here. If you look in here, e times e, it's like saying e squared, right? And r times p, they both got to equal. e times e, it's got to give you a number. So what's e times e? a times a, right? And r times p, which is 4 times 16. There you go. That's what it gives you. 64. So now, let's use those for that formula and create another one here. So this is saying that e squared, let's get e squared. Let's get e squared here divided by r is what? Let's get r. Equals p. Right? You see how they fall in there? With these two? Say e square divided by r is p and e squared divided by p is r crisscross them okay and then you get your answer there so what we've done here is another graph another chart let's say which we're going to put up here okay so e squared divided by r let's take that e squared divided by r is p so p is on this quadrant here the second one e squared bang that goes up there and e squared divided by p is r. I could put that one in here. I could fit. Now watch this one. See, e squared divided by p is r. Okay, next. Now that we set this one up, we could dump this one and work with another one to find another equivalent. Remember, we're working for i in here, okay? Now we're going to get e. So let's find e. e is equal to what? i times r. And e is equal to p divided by i. So let's get that set. You see it? Okay, we don't need this one no more, but you get the idea. Let's work with this one down here. E is equal to i times r, and i times r is equal to p divided by i. Okay? So let's put that in here. Okay? So the power divided by i, power divided by i equals to i times r. This one here. Okay? See this? p divided by i is i times r. And p divided by i times r equals i. But, you have to look a little, a little bit better here because uh, it, there is something you have to understand here concerning Remember the e squared that we talked about? This one's got i squared. See the two i's right there? i here, and there's an i here. So let's combine those two i's to i squared, right? Okay. So p divided by r, okay, i squared is r. You see it? p divided by i squared is r. So that's the formula 
So equal to R. So the resistance is P divided by I P divided by I squared, see two I's. It's like a line right here in the middle, you know? Equal to R. Now do it backward, the other way around. P divided by R. Let's find out what I is, okay? P divided by R, but you notice this one here? Combine them. You combine them, but to get it alone, alone by itself, you had to use square root, okay? So remember that. You had to use square root like so okay P divided by R equal to I that's the one that's up here that goes up here watch this oh, come on. P divided by R see it? P divided by R leaves you two I's right but since you just want I all you gotta do is use the square root that's why there this is got a square root in it so that way we could come up with that we're already 11 minutes in here, so we have to go a little faster here. <laughs> and as you can see, all we're doing, all we got is missing two more. Okay, so let's get another one. So how about how about power? What's power equal to? I squared times R. So I squared times R. That's power, which what we could do right now. I squared times R is power. So power is over here. If you look at this, I, see two I's? You square it. There's two of them, right? I times I, you square. Times R is the power. There it is, right there. Okay. We still got one more, last but not least. Okay. We got the P divided by I square, which is right here. We got I square times R. Okay. I square times R, which is the power. I square times R. And the last one is, which one, my friend? Come on. <laughs> one is missing. That's this one here, which is power. Do we have I times R? Yes. You see it? Power is, sorry, it is voltage. I times R is voltage. Right here, I times R is voltage. P divided by I is voltage. P divided by I is voltage. But how do you get this one here? We miss one here. See it right here? R times P. And take the square root of that and it becomes E alone by itself. So RP square root, okay? So that's what that one is. It's a little tricky but you'll get the, the, the concept of it. Alright, see right there? R times P, and then you take the square root to break, to cancel that number 2 up there. See it? Number 2 here. Alright, that's to take care of it and uh, learn more and uh, give me any comments you have. And uh, this is my second time. I made it kind of in color before I made it in black and white and it looked good. So I figured in color would be nice. Alright, thanks a lot. Cool.